This is his liberal bar mitzvah. Today he becomes a man. Boom. Oh my God. The shiny pony is a stallion. That shade upon him, those gorgeous lips of his, he can cut a lip. He can get a hangnail. Boom. Boom. One, two, three, four. Tory's going down. He's in the corner. This is game over. The blood. The ref's going to stop it. Justin does give great TV and knows how to pack a wallop, turning conservative Senator Patrick Brazo into a punching bag. Gained a, a new respect for Junior after the fight night, the Sun News exclusive. Now, do you remember when Barack Obama was just the junior senator from Illinois? He was young and attractive, smooth talker. Everyone wanted to have a, a beer with him or a latte. Not everyone thought he was ready to be president. Well, he's been president, still isn't ready for prime time, but, but he, he's still cool. Was then, is now. Who wouldn't want to listen to that guy address the nation for four years? Well, America has seen the results of voting for a guy based on how cool he is and how cool he is reading a prompter. But there are still thousands of Canadians, mostly young ones, who wish they had a guy like that to vote for. Not the bland, boring, and worst of all, conservative Stephen Harper. Sure, his policies have helped Canada come out of the global recession, and maybe that matters to some people, but he's boring. So boring. Well, kids, you might just get your chance to make up for it. It was reported this week that Justin Trudeau is going to announce his run for the liberal leadership as early as next week. Yes, JT himself, son of Pierre T., MP for Papineau, victor of the Sun News boxing battle with Senator Brazo and the man with the most enviable hair in all of Canadian politics. He thinks he has the grit to lead the grits. Question, can he remake them into Canada's natural national governing party again? Or will he hand Stephen Harper and his Tories another victory, which he once said would be enough to make him a separatist? Folks, it's time for some Canadian common sense. Okay, so... Number one question, what would Justin do as leader? He's telegenic. We give you that. Not just leader of the party, but leader of the opposition, perhaps. What, what would he do? Uh, what policies does he favor? What, what values does he want to bring to Canada? Well, he wants to give young voters a voice. He wants to restore funding to the youth program, Katimovic, a volunteerism program that ended up on the business end of conservative budget cuts. Uh, he wants to stop calling honor killings barbaric because that word is offensive. He really, really wants the conservatives to stop being the government. And that's, that's about it. Uh, isn't that anti-incumbent attitude all Barack Obama really needed in 2008? Uh, yes, he was helped by the fact that the U.S. economy was on the brink of collapse. And the military was still engaged in two unpopular wars after eight years of Republicans. Americans wanted a change. It was a, it was a change year. And Obama beat that change drum as, as much as he could. He didn't say things like, misunderestimated or where wings take dream. And most of all, he knew how to work a room full of young, energetic lefties and, and how to work an Internet full of those same young, energetic lefties. He may not know much about being president. So far, it's turning out that he doesn't know much about how to be re-elected president. But being elected the first time, he couldn't have done better. If the liberals rally around Justin Trudeau, no doubt they're hoping for exactly the same result, without the massive debt crisis, of course. So you'd think after being booted to third spot for the first time, the liberals would have a real agenda by now. Years of being Canada's natural governing party made them too arrogant to see the NDP's orange crush coming their way, too arrogant to remind Canadians exactly why Liberals deserve their votes. A year later, it really doesn't look like they've lost the arrogance. They haven't stood for anything since 2006. I mean, they're against things, sure, but what are they for? The party is as light on its platform as it is light on candidates with the skills to be Prime Minister. But, hey, why bother? All they have to do is just keep calling Stephen Harper bad and bland and boring, right? I mean, in that sense, when it comes to picking a leader, Justin is actually perfect. He's not bland. He's not boring. Now, there's an advantage the NDP has over the Liberals. 
the NDP actually does stand for things, not things I support, but I give them credit for standing for something. And because of that, their last leadership contest was a, was a real contest. Each candidate represented a different wing of the party. The liberals have been so rudderless. It'll be nothing to slap Justin Trudeau on the butt, shove him on stage and say, hey, kid, you're a leader now. Make your daddy proud. Unless another liberal steps up to challenge him, it won't be a contest. It'll be just another liberal coronation. It's been that way since Stéphane Dion. And Justin Trudeau, for all that he leaves to be desired, is very good at raising money. When a party is in the comeback mode, they need money just as much, perhaps more, than an agenda. And, and there's something else. The francophone factor, with the Bloc Québécois all but dead, that's the Bloc Québécois, not the Parti Québécois, Bloc Québécois, moribund. The NDP owns La Belle Province on the federal level. Someone like Bob Ray has no hope of bringing Quebec back to the Liberals, but Someone with the name Trudeau couldn't be better. It would certainly be nice after nine years of prime ministers named Harper and Martin from the perspective of those who want a francophone. But the Parti Québécois taking provincial power poses a new challenge for young Justin. Will he know how to keep the PQ's demands in line while picking up some votes on their turf? Or will he and the Liberals rely exclusively on his name recognition and leave the rest to fate? Finally, the father factor, Pierre Trudeau's vision was the just society where government makes everyone's lives better. In reality, more regulated and more politically correct. Those of us who survived his administration are aware that government is indeed capable of making some people's lives better, usually by staying out of them. Justin wasn't even born when Pierre Trudeau used that phrase for the first time, just society, but does he think his dad's vision bears repeating? Do we want a sequel? After all, most Canadians surveyed named Pierre Trudeau the best prime minister in our nation's history. Has Justin kept his mind on the here and now, realizing the implications of Pierre Trudeau's so-called just society? These are all questions Justin will need to answer as soon as possible if he wants to lead. He, he might be ready to lead the Liberals. I mean, somebody has to. But he needs to be ready to lead... The rest of us, the country, the liberals will elect their leader in April. So he really doesn't have much time to figure things out. That's Canadian common sense. You shouldn't be asking, who does Justin Trudeau actually want to separate? Of course not. But will Justin Trudeau fight with his very last breath to make sure that this Canada stays the Canada that we collectively know it can be? Absolutely. Let nobody say that Justin Trudeau isn't passionate about politics. In fact, word on the street is he's so passionate, he's finally stepping up to run for the leadership of the Liberal Party, confirming the long-held suspicions of many observers. But will that be enough to get the old guard grits on his side, let alone the rest of the country? Does he have the skills to lead anything at all? For more... We check in with Lauren Gunter, who is columnist for the Edmonton Sun. Lauren, what do you think? Well, I think that this is uh, just the final proof that the Liberal Party is moribund, that it, it hasn't got a clue anymore. It, it hasn't got a, a chance anymore of reviving itself. It may, I, I, the only people I think who are going to be excited by this are people, is, it, liberals who are 60 plus, who remember the great old days when, when Justin's daddy was the, the prime minister and, and everything was right with the world and the country. Uh, I, you know, most people below the age of, of 40 have no conscious memory at all of Pierre Trudeau. Uh, so therefore, they don't have much of an impression one way or the other. Uh, Justin's last name doesn't mean anything to them. And he'll be judged on his own merits, which are uh, few and far between. So this is like uh, the oldies format. Radio station converts to an oldies format and, and people can hear uh, Sugar Sugar by the Archies or whatever. And, and, and that's all cool for a couple of weeks then because they haven't heard it in 30 years. Then they play the same tune a couple of weeks later and the person goes back to listening to whatever he or she was, was listening to. You're saying that uh, people will, will take a look at this and then once uh, he has to start talking about uh, policy, people go, oh, um, I guess he's not Pierre Trudeau. 
Well, or they'll say, my goodness, he is Pierre Trudeau. And while those were lovely ideas in 1969, they don't translate very well into 2012 or 2013. I, this, I think, again, as I said, is proof that the Liberal Party is stuck in the past. It, it can't shake itself from the, these glory days that it has. One of the, the reasons the Liberal Party was the most successful political entity in the Western world was it was able to remake itself about every 15 years. It would move right. It would move left. It would change with the times. It would pick up whatever I ideas were prevailing at the time. Uh, enough in the academic and research side and enough in the, in the public sphere that they melded it all together and they looked like they were very progressive. This, to me, just says, my goodness, we haven't had a fresh idea since 1972 at the, the Foreign Investment Review Agency, and, and we'd just like to get back to those days. Please, please, please. Lauren, I know that this is impossible to do anything with speculation on, but do you honestly think that uh, a young Pierre Trudeau, uh, same age as Justin is today, but, but, but Pierre Trudeau, not Justin, do you think he'd be advocating all the same ideas and doing it in all the same ways? Don't you think he'd be a lot smarter than that? Oh, I don't know. I mean, he, he decided to remake the country in his own image more than remake his image uh, to suit the country. I mean, I, I, he was a real ideologue. I, you know, maybe the last term, and, I, and I, I have to confess here that in an earlier life, I actually worked for a minister in the last Pierre Trudeau cabinet. So I, I have some firsthand knowledge of this. I mean, in that last term, they were very cynical. That everything was poll-driven. Uh, we would go to meetings all the time where we would talk about how we wanted to suppress the outcome or the turnout in an, in an election because our only chances of winning re-election would have low turnout and an unenthusiastic voter, uh, an unenthusiastic populace. So, you know, we, those were the sorts of things that happened that, that, that last term. But those first couple of terms, though, especially 72 to 74, when, when he was held in power by uh, David Lewis and the New Democrats, it, they were very ideological. And I think those were his true colors. I mean, if you read his early writings from long before he became prime minister, Pierre Trudeau was a very staunch leftist, uh, believed in all sorts of very socialist things. And, and I think that it was only the last term and the, the desire to stay in power at all costs that made him be a little more pragmatic. So, no, I don't think so. I mean, I think Pierre Trudeau at Justin's age was very ideological, but I th also think he was much brighter than Justin. I don't want to disparage Justin too much, but he doesn't strike me as being the same kind of deep intellectual that his, that his father was. I didn't like his father's ideology. I didn't like his father's thoughts. But you knew that he was a smart man and he thought things through. I don't get the same feeling from Justin.